Hello everyone, this is Fine Brave White vs Kathleen WWE Universal Championship match. If you like the content, please like, subscribe, share, and enjoy the match. And there's the bell. And here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. This might be it. Oh, my. Oh, that hurt to the chest. What a stomp. Good grief. Look at this. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. I'm the eater of world. Maybe thinking about some tag team power bomb. with precision. Bray Wyatt on the defensive. He's gonna have to cut off his opponent's offense quickly. I wouldn't call for the medics just yet, Ouch. Coach. He still appears to be in pretty good shape here. I know it's early, but if nice. things stay the way they are, winning this match might just be a pipe dream for him. Oh, nasty impact. say watching this match I'm definitely seeing similarities to the May 2016 Extreme Rules match where Roman Reigns defended his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against AJ Styles. Ray Wyatt drives his opponent down with a urinagi. This match might be over guys. That is Sister Abigail. Incredible. This is Bray Wyatt's match now. He's going for the pin. When it comes to brutality, I would agree with Michael Cole's assessment that this match shares similarities with the 2016 Reign Styles match. Though for me, the biggest story of that night came after the match. Not agree with that for sure. Absolutely. Ah, uh, Bray Wyatt. Sister Abigail delivered by Bray Wyatt. Can he finish the job? And how they survived that is anyone's guess. Wow. Of course, Extreme Rules matches have resulted in some gruesome moments over the years, and perhaps none was more gruesome than in 2012 when Brock Lesnar busted John Cena open following a vicious attack. And look at the quickness by Wyatt. DDT! As Byron mentioned, Lesnar's attack on Cena in 2012 was without question gruesome. And furthermore, I don't think I've ever seen John Cena manhandled like he was on that night. Yeah, Lesnar definitely brought it to Cena that night. But what's truly amazing is that John Cena... Look out, look out! This could be it! Ray Wyatt drives his opponent down with a urinagi. But he's got to capitalize now. You're going to want to see your internist after a slam like that. He's oh. definitely tapped a power source. Oh, clobbered by the steps. That'll make you reassess some things. Back in the ring again. Oh, 
was so ruthless. Now that's how you use a table to your advantage. Ah, backdrop suplex. That's how you wear down your opponent. Got the oh, oh my goodness, crushing it! The champ looking absolutely defeated right now. You have to wonder how much longer he can go on like this. He has got to do something quick. The light from Bray's fireflies may be dimming. Hold on, guys. This isn't good. No question about it, Cole. Close quarters. His shoulders are down. Wow, I can't believe he had the energy to kick out of that. It's gonna take more than that. Dodges that one. Real quick reminder, guys. There are no disqualifications and no countouts in this one. Anything is legal. Oh, and there are enough weapons under the ring to fill an armory. Ooh, what impact. Close quarters. As Corey mentioned, there's a treasure trove of weapons under the ring. Everything from kendo sticks to steel chairs to fire extinguishers. If you can think about it, it's probably under there. And when that's the case, it's not a matter of if you're going to get hurt. It's a matter of how badly you're going to get hurt. You want to talk about a finishing move that puts your lights out? Just look at when Bray Wyatt drops an opponent with Sister Abigail. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Beautiful technique. We've seen so many superstars fall from the power of Bray Wyatt and from the devastation that occurs at his hands by the way of Sister Abigail. When we talk about the fear and the horror that's created by Bray Wyatt, so much of that can be attributed to the power of Sister Abigail. The maneuver is a chilling fate to all who try to stop the self-professed eater of worlds. Tag made here. Uh-oh, this is power bomb. The stop in the leg! Just nasty. The stop in the leg! Just nasty. When it comes to matches like this, I'd say the more innovative a superstar is when it comes to offense, the better chance they have of victory. And innovation certainly is a key in a match like this. A competitor can't be adverse. He goes for the cover. He got body on body there, but that's about it. Remarkable. He's got him covered. And he doesn't stay down for long. Yeah, and Bray Wyatt digs deep and proves he's one of the toughest hombres around. Oh, that's bad. Bray Wyatt's face is making me weak to my stomach. Wow, what a sequence. Yeah, that was amazing. In matches like this, guys, you learn very quickly which superstars have what it takes to truly get extreme. He's making a statement here with this attack. Showing off some of his speed there. 
Bonnie dodges out of the way. Close quarters. Regarding Corey's point about superstars having what it takes to get extreme, I would argue that every superstar in the locker room possesses a mean streak. Yeah, but not all mean streaks are created equal, Michael. Ray Wyatt. Now a striking blow. Without a doubt, this is a volatile situation, guys. WWE superstars are dangerous without weapons. Then you put them in an environment like this, and who knows what you're liable to see. And look at the quickness by Wyatt. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. Hooked him up. Oh, impactful slam. Hard to argue Michael's point on volatility and the volatility of this match. But what I think oftentimes gets overlooked is the mental anguish that goes along with competing in a match like this. Oh, boo-hoo. Cry me a river, Saxton. These competitors knew exactly... Now Bray Wyatt with a sister Abigail. Oh, oh it's over. And Bray Wyatt might have just secured the victory. Hooked up. The kiss. Sister Abigail. Well, succubus strikes again. He's in control now. As we've seen in the past, Extreme Rules matches create a type of hysteria that's difficult to describe, even more difficult to contain. Oh, my God. I'd have to agree with what Byron is saying. When you've got action taking place all over the arena, complete with every weapon imaginable, it's not easy to keep up. Well, I'll try, Cole. That's what you're getting paid for, isn't it? Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Carnage in the form of fallen WWE superstars is just part of Bray Wyatt's plan of total domination. The mysterious prophet has also ambushed WWE champions. Bray Wyatt truly does not care who feels his evil wrath. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. On the topic of Bray Wyatt's attacks, Byron, throughout Bray's career, the man has sought to erase beloved WWE icons, including John Cena, The Undertaker. Oh, my goodness! I'll tell you, watching Extreme Rules matches make me happy. My in-ring days are behind me. You talk about a treacherous environment to come. Now, Bray Wyatt, Sister Abigail, delivered by Bray Wyatt. Nice. Shut it down. This is Bray Wyatt's match now. I'm the eater of world. You better stay right where he is. This is a treacherous match indeed, as Corey was saying. I can't... Now, Bray Wyatt with a sister, Abigail. Right. The champion into the cover. Two, three. This singles contest has a victor. We've got some highlights from the last one queued up. Here we go. He's getting it done here. Remember this? Every single minute of this one was memorable. Extreme Rules match and wait. Oh, no. Now, hold on, Cole. Let's see where this goes. Uh-oh. This is the confrontation we've all been waiting for. Now, Bray Wyatt. Sister Abigail delivered by Bray Wyatt. 